Hello, fellow truth seekers. I hope you are all doing well. I'm doing great myself. Um, today, March 8th, is when I'm recording this. Um, the time sprung forward in the U.S. And we lose an hour of sleep, but we gain an hour of daylight. And I'm really excited about that. <laughs> and I can just feel a little bit of springiness in my step, in the people, in the people that are around me, their steps. Um, yeah, a little bit of spring cleaning going on. Um, it's a beautiful day. Just really feeling it. And that's what this is about, right? The spring equinox. We are, and for some, the autumn equinox, right? So we're transitioning. The veil beneath between the worlds is thinning. <laughs> so, we need to take advantage of that, especially since Mars is going to be making a series of conjunctions. And the first one starting on the spring equinox, which occurs on March 19th, at least in the U.S. Um, yeah, adjust accordingly. First uh, conjunction it makes is with Jupiter. Then it moves to Pluto, then on to Saturn. So with the Jupiter conjunction, this is when we need to, you know, that day of the spring equinox. We need to be visualizing. We need to be praying, and, you know, whatever you do um, to manifest, right? asking for it, speak it out, think about it, think about how it will feel, and, you know, then of course, you know, this is when we catch the wave, right? Then we just go with it. We just let it carry us in. Now, we do need to have a plan, right? We obviously are going to be having to let go of some things that we don't need anymore because, you know, first is Jupiter, which is our dreams, you know, and expanding. Make them big. Make them big, guys. Um, because Jupiter is big. It's all about expansion. And um, so then, you know, it's Pluto, which is about endings. It's about transformation. It's about... You know, how much do you want it? How much do you want this? Um, because it really, you know, you're going to have to make spa space for it, right? What needs to be moved out? And, you know, this doesn't have to be um, physical necessarily, but maybe, you know, clean out your closet, right? <laughs> Go through uh, all the, those things you've hoarded over the years. What do you really need, right? Be discerning. Get rid of it. Do the spring cleaning, guys. Um, and that will kind of lead you on, right? That's just the first part of it. And you'll know, right? Tune in to your inner voice. Figure out what needs to go. Then we move on to Saturn. And the Saturn is where, you know, the payout comes, right? That's karma. That's our, the limits. And, yeah, we might be looking at how to break through those. But it's also, you know, what have you put into it? Have you done the work? If you have, you're getting paid. <laughs> if you haven't, you're not getting jack, right? If you sat around and thought just thinking about it was going to bring it in, you're in for a rude awakening. This one, you know... There's definitely some work involved. So, um, we also, one of the big themes is self-care. We need to be taking good care of ourselves. Make sure you're grounding. Get out in nature as much as possible. Um, drink plenty of water. Meditate. That is really going to help yeah, and if you ha don't yet, start. Even if it's just like a three-minute 
deal, you know. There's lots of apps you can download on your phone that will give you guided meditations, and it's a good place to start, okay? It doesn't have to be, you know, sitting for 15 minutes or whatever, you know, you think you're supposed to do. Uh, just do and Just start doing it. It's going to help. It's going to help. Um, because there's going to be a lot of chaos and conflict around us right we've got the COVID-19 the coronavirus and people are going crazy about it don't let that don't get get caught in that whirlwind right stay in, on your wave and ride it because this is just a part of it um We will figure, you know, and I think uh, we have this Virgo full moon with Aquarius stationing direct. I mean, Mercury stationing direct in Aquarius. It is still Mercury retrograde as I'm speaking. <laughs> uh, but I feel like, you know, there's a breakthrough coming. All right. And... Uh, I don't, I don't know. I, I can't give you any insight into what it's about. I haven't tried to figure it out. I'm just letting it be. And that's what I suggest that all of us do. Stay in the present. Focus on what you're wanting to manifest. And then do the work to get it there. Just be flexible, right? Be flexible about how it comes in. So, yeah, this is the Mars storm of 2020. And after a storm, it's the best time to go peach combing, to search for treasure, right? Because all that stuff gets churned up on the bottom of the ocean. There are lots of, you know, yeah, there's a lot of seaweed. There's a lot of debris, a lot of trash. But in that, we can find some real treasures. So that's what we're going to dive into today. <laughs> Seeing what the Mars waves are going to bring up on your shore. So let's get into that. Hello, my beautiful Librans. I hope that you are all doing well. So, I just came back from walking the dogs. And tomorrow is the official full moon, you know, at its peak. The exact full moon, but oh my word. It is just, you know, rising. You could see it through the woods that are in the back of the, my house. And uh, I finally got to a place where I could see it completely. And it was like a flashlight in my face. Gorgeous. I hope that you all got to enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, we're talking about spring equinox. I just want to tell you that. I thought it was magical. It's influencing your reading, no doubt. Ooh, let's see here. Hmm. Curious. So, I'm not going to take these, but these obviously have um, a message for you. You know, you've been building the foundation. This even looks very Libran to me, very justice -y, right? Then we have the fates, and this card talks about fates stepping in um, 
Like that things may not have gone the way that you wanted them to. And that was fate. Fate was keeping you from it. You know, things happen when they're supposed to happen. And clean it up is here. There's something, you know, a way of thinking. A yeah, this is this is spring cleaning, right? <laughs> and it's both figurative and um, literal. I even mentioned that, didn't I? <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna put these back in here. If they're supposed to come out, they'll they'll come out. But I hadn't really started talking yet. But yeah, see they. It, this, um, this energy is strong <clears throat> and the cards have been wanting to pop out but so this is for Sun Moon Rising Venus I mean Jupiter and I guess Venus since I said it it has been coming up for Libra here lately um, Yes, remember that we all have masculine and feminine energy, so you can show up as either one. Though that really hasn't been much of an issue thus far. But we'll, we'll see what happens. So, we are looking for what you are going to be manifesting, what this Mars wave is bringing up on your shores. And, yeah, we'll find out. So, what are you bringing, Libra? What is this Mars wave? Hmm. Interesting. Yep. Curious. They both came out in reverse. These have specific meanings for the reverse. And when I did my own reading, mine came out in reverse as well. The serendipity being in reverse is kind of reminding me of the Fates card, <laughs> to be honest. But let's see what these have to say. Yeah, I had to um, go into mine a little bit deeper before it became clear. We'll see. All right, the protection me message. Perhaps you felt almost certain that serendipitous events were meant to lead to something better. It was supposed to be the perfect business or that person you gave your heart to was supposed to be the one, yet it all fell apart. Consider this. Sometimes synchronicity and serendipity come together to lead you directly into difficulties in order to deliver an important lesson you need to learn before you hit the jackpot. Don't get caught up in the drama of disappointment. There really is a silver lining in this cloud. Spirit always knows what you need and is guiding you to where you are meant to go. Pay attention to the signs presented to you. Wow. <laughs> That really does sound like the first one. I guess that was meant for you. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is. Protection message for seven to the sea. When external conditions appear to block every attempt to move forward, there is no hidden message for you to decipher. Like the ocean, the tides of experience ebb and flow. You are in a natural cycle, so know that things will flow again in due course. There is no cause for alarm. Stop resisting and fighting against the situation and learn to flow, even when the tide is going out. Relax and trust in the abundance that will soon be within your reach again. An ancient mariner's saying applies to you now. When fishermen cannot go to sea, they stay home and repair their nets. Wow, that is exactly what <laughs> came out. I'm sorry, guys. I just, I have to laugh at 
you know, that they can, they're like, okay, well, we'll just find another way to say it. <sighs> so, to look at these as something that, you know, these are, are treasures, right? So to me, you know, these are lessons. And sometimes lessons, you know, we don't see them, you know, as the treasures that they are. But these are actually, you know, they're leading to something really good. I mean, both of these are really wonderful cards, right? This is teaching you to go with the flow. It's up to, you know, how quickly you learn the lesson, right? Depend, decides how quickly you move forward. How quickly you let go of those things that weren't really meant for you. And believe, have faith, that the good stuff is, is still coming in, right? Determines how quickly those can come in. But, you know, this makes me think of some of the things I said, right? You know, catch the wave and ride it. Right? Are you all actually going doing that during this period, or are you fighting? Because this is saying, stop fighting. So, try to ride the wave, right? If you hit blocks, see, look for the signs, right? Maybe this isn't for you. Maybe, you know, the flexibility. There's a need to um, be open to how it, it comes to you, right? Spirit, the universe, knows better what, what you want, what is meant for you, than you do. So this is about trusting, right? Look for the signs. If you keep hitting roadblock after roadblock, and it's difficult, it's really difficult, it might not be for you. Not that there's not work in, involved, but if you keep on, you know, coming to roadblocks, if you, you've, you've got to go with the flow, right? There are messages there for you. Go within, right? Take some time out and feel into it. We're going to get some more information. I know, this is exactly what y'all were <laughs> wanting. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, the, these, these things really lead to even better than what you wanted. Well, most of the time they do. It just depends on whether we learn the lesson or not, right? If we keep on trying to go after the things that are being blocked from us, if we don't accept and look for the signs and listen to spirit it's going to be a lot harder all right tell us more about serendipity reverse tell us more about serendipity reverse please there we go from ten of swords to ten of cups yes okay Ooh, and the Emperor. So yeah, this is in the Hanged Man at the bottom of the deck. So this is saying, you know, stay positive. Yeah, things are tough, but, uh, you know, this is a 10. We've got two 10s here. Or, no, this is a 9. This is a 10. Sorry. Um, yeah. I don't know why I saw that as the 10 of swords. Again, you know, that probably means that you are getting really close to the end of a cycle. <laughs> but all this worry, you're not looking at the signs. You're, you're not seeing the signs. Look for the signs, guys. They're there. Stay positive. And, you know, this is taking control. This is Aries, right? We're moving into Aries. Um, so this is all about taking control. This is about going for it. Hmm. 
Here at the bottom of the deck we have the hanged man, right? Which is talking about, you know, feeling a little stuck. Under that is the Nine of Cups, the Sun, oh my god, and the Star, this Star, oh my god, the Empress, um, the World, oh my god, you guys, <laughs> oh my god, okay. So yeah. You're, you're needing at that perspective change. You're going to be st stuck here until you get the perspective change, right? You're looking at this Ten of Cups like this is my Ten of Cups. I'm not seeing it, right? He's looking at it like... This is like letting go of some of that control, right? Wanting things exactly the way you want it. When in fact, you know, what something that's better, right? This is your wish fulfillment. This is the sun, the sun this, your empress, the completion, the world is coming to you. But you have to have this perspective change. You have to let go of this idea of what your perfect ten of cups is. And, you know, being all bound up in the thoughts of, you know, where is it? Okay, let's find out more about the To the Sea. Why is To the Sea in reverse here, please? Tell us more about To the Sea. Tell us more about To the Sea, please. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. So with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the two, the C in reverse, here we see her, I thought she was taking a bath. It does look like what, and okay, so we're gonna go with that though, right? Because I thought it was with the bubbles coming out here. Felt like there was this, and it, it still applies even if it's not. <laughs> um, that you're really taking care of yourself, right? You're nurturing yourself, you're going within. You're learning to go with the flow. And when you do that, it starts to, you know, um, really show on the outside. You've got this comp, it gives you this confidence. Um, this might be also, you know, um, no, never mind. I do see, like, some kind of physical activity here as well. And, you know, because that really, like, gives you this real boost to the endorphins, right? And so you, you feel more energized and more confident. Um, yeah. And people are start, it start to take notice right and I feel like you catch the eye of this king of rods over here remember we can reverse this <laughs> um, and we have the page of pinnacles at the bottom. 
I feel like they, you know, initiate some kind of um, conversation, whether this is like, or there's an offer that comes in. Hmm. It's interesting that we have this emperor sitting here and the king of rods. Kind of, you know, and the queen of pinnacles is kind of looking over at this emperor. And I feel like you had, you know, and of course, take this as it resonates, right? You can be either side of the story. But this queen had an idea of who her emperor was, right? Maybe it's not. Maybe this king of rods is over here. Is the actual emperor. When you start going with the flow, looking at the signs, you realize, right? Yeah, we've got death underneath that. Yeah, and the Knight of Swords, the truth, seeing things clearly. And then we've got the Queen of Cups, strength, Ten of Wands putting down that burden. Yeah, there's your Empress. There's your completion. And you're the Queen of Rods too, right? And then we go to <laughs> the beginning. Hmm. Okay. We're going to get another layer here. Looking for further guidance regarding spring equinox. Further guidance, please. Further guidance. Spring equinox and Mars's waves of energy. <laughs> How to ride that wave and bring in manifestations. Right. Libra, please. For Libra. One more. Guidance regarding spring equinox. And Mars waves. Okay. Let's do one more. Guidance, please. Okay. Woo. Oh my goodness. Came out on here. I feel like these are together. Hold on, let me move these a little bit more.
We will leave it there. And that's just... Yeah, you all are really being stubborn, it seems. <laughs> because over here, we have the Three of Wands alignment in this deck. Six of Pentacles, Generosity, and the Wheel of Fortune. And then we come over here, and we have... The Five of Pentacles, and it was crossed by the Ten of Swords. Winter's Bite, Desolation. And, okay, and before y'all start, it, you know, this is just a warning, okay? We can change this, right? This is why this is here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. Then we have the sun. See? Guys, um, yeah, the, the ace of swords. The ten of cups. Look, guys. You've got to end this way of thinking and having this particular um, way of seeing, wanting things to work out. All right? I know it seemed like signs were pointing, you know, you had your heart awakened by this person, right? I know. I'm feeling it too, okay? <laughs> um, and then you realize at some point, or, you know, you start thinking, oh, God, what if they don't come? Well, maybe it's not them, you know, maybe there was some other reason, you know, that you got sent down this, this path and it's leading someplace else, someplace even better. But if you stay in this, you know, oh, I'm not getting what I want, right? This five of pentacles, I'm, you know, I'm a, I've been left out in the cold. I'm not getting what I want. It can't come in. So you've got to end, end it, right? I saw over here that Ten of Swords, and here it is. It did come out. You've got to end it. And this is bringing it to you. But you have to, you know, it's not like it's going to happen magically. You guys have to do the inner work, right? Take care of yourself. And go with the flow, right? You don't have to... It doesn't have to be this person. Alignment, you know, and I do feel like in this case, this is all what the universe is bringing you right here. Everything in the sky, we've got the, the fire burning, right? Which is this Mars, you know? And we've even got three stars up here. And in this case, I'm going to see them as the planets. I'm going to see it as Jupiter, um, Pluto, and Saturn. And this is that Virgo full moon that we're having right now. And that everything is lining up, guys. Everything is lining up. And the universe is wanting to give you more than what you actually asked for. You know? And you're reaching for this apple. This small one. And the universe is like, no, we've got something better for you. <laughs> and that fate is, is bring, you know, fate is part of this. But we see her in the background, right? And some, is this lightning perhaps? Some kind of uh, storm, you know, she's brewing up. Don't put the fates against you, right? Because if you don't accept 
the gift. They're not going to keep on bringing it to you. And look, y'all listened. Y'all listened. <laughs> it flipped over and landed face down. And you know what? We're going to let that be. Because that reveals the sun, the healing, the happiness. You know, you're, you're accepting the invitation, right? Joining the dance. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love it. Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, well, I'll figure it out when we get to the underlying energies. <laughs> Maybe I'll include both of them. Yes, I think that, okay, so first we're going to get um, the piece of art. We will get closing guidance from the Moonology deck, then we'll go over the underlying energies. All right. For Libra, please, for Libra. Okay, to the right. Hmm. Arithmetic composition. Yeah. That seems to be on another page. I don't know what that is. Just so y'all know, um, this is not mine. <laughs> I uh, took it from someone else, of course, with their per permission. Um, this is Theo van Dosberg. Hmm. But, you know, I feel like this is this alignment. Look at how perfectly everything fits. You know, this is arithmetic. Yeah? This is the language of the universe. Math is the language of the universe. All of this is, you know, these things coming together. The balance. The preciseness. This is what's going on here. Things are being orchestrated for you. You just have to see it. And it's approaching, right? It's getting closer. Hm. Okay. Closing guidance for Libra, please. Closing guidance for Libra. Closing guidance for Libra. Closing guidance for Libra regarding, okay. Look at the bigger picture. Perfect. <laughs> Full moon and Sagittarius. And you know, Sag is in here. Oh, wow. Maybe it wasn't here, but look, right there's the Empress. Let's see what leads up to the Empress here. Oh, and then Justice. Nice. So that was Dancer Ten, Dancer Prince. Oh, that's the Ten of Cups, King of, Knight of Cups, Empress, Justice. I love it. Oh, look at that. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but it was under here. Nine of cuts. Yep, right after the hanged man. So perhaps you have a Sagittarius. Hmm? Okay, let's see here. Just the book. Here we go. Are you thinking too much about the details of your dilemma? 
fretting over minutia can be counterproductive. Or perhaps you're being all talk and no action. This card is a reminder that while it's good to think things through, sometimes you need to step back and look at the bigger picture. What do you then see about your current situation? What's the most positive thought you can have about it? Now is the time to count your blessings, even if you don't yet have exactly what you want. This card is also a reminder that we often have to take a few risks and go with uncertainty on this journey called life. Try to keep an open mind about what's for the best. The universe could surprise you. <laughs> oh, you guys, that is funny. That is really funny. One of the additional meanings is be confident to win the day. That's really awesome. Okay. I'm glad that came out. All right. So now we'll look at the underlying energies. We had the page of pinnacles here. Oh my goodness, to be fair, I didn't even know that. That is like basically the um, justice card. <laughs> Breaks down to an 11. Nice. Full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. And we've got three tens on this little board here. Yeah. So I'd say that we do. Y'all might have some Leo too, because we've got the sun popping out. We've got Leo. I mean, it's like underlying, but, or, you know, maybe some of y'all got some, The it's a Leo. And we're going to include both of these. We're going to include the Three of Swords, which is healing, you know, because it was followed by the sun. I feel like these, you know, crows are eating the heartache, right? And the reason that we end up, you know, and y'all will end up hearing this several times from me, because I've d discovered it and it makes so much sense to me and I feel like everybody else needs to hear it too but when we are heartbroken <clears throat> that pain we feel is the opening of our heart right it's letting out all of that pain all the heartache that someone you know as as somebody leaves our life that would meant something to us you know, we have to release it. We have to release that person. We have to release the pain, what have you. And it opens up a space in us. And it makes us feel a little empty, right? But it also, opening up that space allows someone to come in. It allows healing. It allows happiness to happen again, right? All of this can't happen if we don't allow the pain, if we don't open ourselves up. When we try to shut down the pain, that is when we close ourselves off, right? When we don't want to feel it anymore. So staying open is healing. And it's proved right, proven right here. So yeah, I feel like you guys are going to heal you're going to finally close out this cycle. You're going to give up this idea that this person has to be a certain person. Let go of control. Let the universe give you what is right, right? This is balancing the scales, giving you your due. Beautiful. All right, guys. I hope that that resonated. I hope it helped. And um, if so, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share. 
And until next time, much love.